Nearly four years after the last stable release, the damn small Linux team is back in business and it is now being actively developed. We are looking at DSL 411 Release Candidate 1 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Before I begin, I'd like to show you the damnsmalllinux.org website. From here, you can get all the information you need on this distribution along with download links. It tells you the applications, packages, downloads, and all the other important information relevant to this distribution. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at this in our virtual machine. Okay, now we are at the boot screen, and here we just simply need to press enter. It does give us a little bit of information, installs to pen drives, runs embedded as a guest OS, extendable via my DSL, and installs to the hard drive as Debian. This is also based on Nopix, probably one of my favorite um, rescue disks. Nopix has saved my tail on numerous occasions, and of course we have a nice little colorful uh, boot screen telling us everything that's going to be happening as the system is uh, starting to load in. This loads relatively quick, at least in my initial test of this, it loaded quite fast. Now that I have a screencaster running, obviously it takes a little bit more time, which is understandable. Once we are booted into the system, you'll see that we have a nice colorful desktop, which is loaded with wonderful applications that we can get started. Weighing in at 50.9 megs, you sure do get a lot. Shay, that's pretty small, isn't it? Now, this is a little bit larger than Tiny Core OS, but the thing is, I really like what this brings to the table. This uses a very lightweight uh, navigation system. I believe this is uh, based on Fluxbox, if I'm not mistaken. You have a number of editors, Beaver, Nano, Notepad, and a lot of you Vim fans will be happy it's included here. You get Icon View, MT Paint, XZoom, and... Uh, XZGU Image Viewer. Very lightweight tools indeed. Uh, text word processing, a spreadsheet, a PDF viewer, a word viewer, postscript viewer, calculator, calendar, SQ Lightbook, PIM, using index net directory. You even get some sound mixers and sound utilities. You get, um, some browsers, all kinds of things for the uh, internet, a bunch of tools I really don't even recognize, and then a bunch of other tools to get the most use out of this system. I really like how they were able to really crunch Firefox down into a small file size here, and I opened this up earlier, and it looks like it has a different name when you run this. Let me go ahead and open this up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. It looks like a, it's called Bon Echo. Even though it says Firefox, um, what's kind of cool is, you know, when you click the About button, this is version 2, Bon Echo. Never heard of this. Very interesting indeed. It uses DuckDuckGo as its default search, which is relatively quick, and it doesn't have any tracking cookies or anything. It uses DSL um, as its default homepage on this. You have a quick link to the uh, damn small Linux, the forums, their wiki, their store, a quick link to DistroWatch, Public Radio, uh, LibriVox, and of course the latest headlines through the RRSS feed. So very nice indeed, and it looks like they also have the $1 challenge. And so uh, if you, if you uh, wish to support this project, please consider sending them a buck. All right. Okay, and then we have a number of other uh, applications here. Now, let's have a look down here. We have Delo here, which loads up automatically at the beginning, and this gives you some information on getting started with damn small Linux. You also have a very light ML FM file manager. 
I actually tried this when I first started using Arch Linux, and I'm more of a graphical kind of guy, but this actually gets the job done. You also have a nice terminal that has a pseudo transparency effect. I thought that was a nice touch as well. This is your mount where you can mount uh, drives, floppies, that sort of thing. It'll detect what kind of drives you have available on your system and you can mount them. And then, of course, your control panel is right here for setting up everything that you need to on the system with the inclusion of the NDIS wrapper. For those of you who are unable to get your wireless uh, Wi-Fi cards working, you can possibly try and get a Windows uh, driver working on this. All in all, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. You sure do get a lot for the small 50 meg file size, but don't take my word for it. Just visit the website and download this image. It is really small. Run this in your virtual machine and take it for a spin drive. Bottom line, damn small Linux sure does deliver for a small 50 0.9 megs in file size. It's small enough to fit on any uh, business card or pocket size uh, disk. You can put it on a USB drive. It does offer a lot. And for a first release candidate, this really does the trick. If you want to learn more about this distro, please see the show notes below where there is a link to the website that has more information and downloads. Mm -hmm.